Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall. My apologies for not getting this video out sooner this week. Uh, long story, but it is what it is, <laughs> as uh, people seem to say these days. Boy, I sound like an old fogey. I, I sound even more like an old fogey using the term old fogey. I, I just better stop. <laughs> Anyway, this uh, this computer is not mine. This is my aunt's computer. Uh, she uh, is really into computers like I am. As, uh, as you know, I've featured several of her computers over the years and videos. She is the one that first got me into computers uh, with her uh, Gateway 2000 P5 100XL back in the day. But this computer uh, right here was her computer she used at church. Uh, she was our uh, church secretary for 25 years. She retired uh, about a year ago or so. And this was her uh, church computer from, uh, I believe, 2007. That's the manufacture date on it. Up until 2014 when I built a new computer for her to use at the church. And... They may still be using it now. I don't know. It's, it's Ivy Bridge era stuff now, so who knows. But she, uh, when she retired, she brought this computer home with her, uh, and she's hoping to maybe use this for some Windows XP gaming. This is a Dell Inspiron 530. These were very popular computers back in the day. This was when Dell uh, first dropped the uh, Dimension branding and started using Inspiron for both laptops and desktops. So this is the 530. This has a Intel Core 2 Duo, Socket 775. I know we just had a Socket 775 system on the channel last week, but that just that just seems to be uh, what's appearing on the channel at the moment. <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be some variety next week. I got something exciting planned. Not that this isn't exciting, <laughs> but it has a Core 2 Duo, I believe a 500 gig hard drive, a some kind of NVIDIA GeForce uh, video card of the era, maybe 3 or 4 gigs of RAM, I can't remember, and Windows XP. This She bought this computer for the church at a time when... Uh, Dell was offering either Vista or XP, and that was the reason I wound up buying a Dell Bostro 1500 laptop in early 2008, because you could still get a computer from Dell with Windows XP. At the time, I hated Vista with a passion, and so I was very happy to still be able to get a computer that had Windows XP on it. And my aunt had heard horror stories about uh, Vista, so she also opted for a computer with Windows XP on it. So, uh, yeah, it's got a DVD RW drive here, card reader, a bunch of USB ports. Yeah, it seems like uh, a lot of people had these uh, Inspiron 530s back in the day. Here's the back of it, nothing too exciting. There's our video card. It's old enough to still have a dial-up modem on here, which I don't think she ever used. But there is a, a reason I currently have this computer in my possession. It is not functional at the moment, for the most part. She tried booting it up at home uh, a few weeks ago, and it just freezes uh, during the uh, post. It'll uh, show the Dell logo with the progress bar, and it'll just freeze. And she can't even get to uh, the boot menu or the BIOS, so she's enlisted me to take a look at it and see if this uh, isn't a complete lost cause. I have a sneaking suspicion that it might be the RAM. This sounds like the telltale issues of a... RAM failure, so we will start with that, but first of all, uh, I think we need to just hook it up and see what it does and see it for ourselves. Okay, before I hook it up, I forgot there's uh, 
no legacy support on this uh, I.O. at all. And I just stood up too fast. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> and I'm wanting to hook up a PS2 mouse and keyboard and VGA. Which, well, we have VGA here, but that's for the onboard video. So, go ahead and hook up this uh, DVI adapter. And this USB to PS2 adapter. And I'll go hook it up off camera. Bent pen. No. Oh, I think I wore myself out trying to get that VGA pin uh, unbent, which unfortunately I was unsuccessful in doing, so I'm having to use a different uh, input on the KVM switch. I think I need a smaller pair of pliers. But anyway, let me uh, plug power up to this thing. I don't know what input it's going to be on. We'll just have to figure it out as we go. And, and as expected, it turns itself on automatically. Okay, uh, let's input three. Okay, I see what she's saying. It does appear to be frozen at this screen. And I'm... Um, Getting no activity from the keyboard, as expected. So, let's put it back up on the desk and we'll swap the RAM around. Alright, let's open it up. Go. These are technically thumb screws, but they're tightened so tight you can't get them off without screwdriver. I don't know if this computer's ever been opened up in its life. Oh, here's its first time. Alright. There's our memory and uh, they're using all four slots. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult to diagnose. So, let me think this over. Okay, you know what? I got such a overabundance of DDR2 memory that I'm just gonna take all these sticks out and just stick this one uh, one gig stick in. I know this is kind of a lazy way of doing it, but. Actually, you know what? I think what I'll do first before I do anything else is just reseat the modules. Why do I always set my screwdriver down and forget where it is? This video cards kind of uh, block them the tabs. Oh, boy, that is no good. Well, that came out anyway. Okay, these are 512 meg sticks, it looks like. Well, there's a 1 gig. Looks like maybe this was upgraded at some point. Well, this is a mismatch of RAM capacity and brands. Okay, that's 512. This is... One gig, so one, two, 
Uh, how much RAM is that, I wonder? Uh, Uh, one, two, two and a half, so three gigs, so it's a good amount for XP, but we'll go ahead and, uh, put it back in here, it bled out a little bit, would recommend, would not recommend doing that like I did, but I don't have any canned air. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. RAM has been reseated. Did we get a beep last time? I can't remember. Oh, okay, we're getting a little bit further now. All right, Core 2 Duo, 2.33 gigahertz E6550. So, uh, yeah, I think just reseating it has fixed our issue. Although I think we got a dead CMOS battery. Yeah, well, I can sort that out. Okay, finally got a battery in there. I say finally because several months ago I bought a brand new pack of CR2032s and I can't find them anymore. Uh, when I uh, had that rock come through the window back in November, a lot of stuff got shuffled around and I think that's one of the things that got shuffled around and I always hate doing this. I had to steal the battery out of another computer I wasn't using, but... Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, it is January. I believe it is the 22nd, 2025. Time is 9.49 p.m. So, 21.49, what was that? And there is no floppy drive and we'll save and we'll see if it successfully boots Okay, that blue uh, bar means that the recovery partition is still on here. That's kind of cool. I hear that old hard drive clattering away. Oh, man. Whatever monitor this computer was hooked up to before must have been at a weird resolution or it just can't switch on the fly apparently to 1024 768 and now it's gone to sleep well i couldn't really boot into uh windows anyway there's a lot of sensitive church data on here so uh yeah okay just be on the safe side i'm running memtest 86 on here Probably let it do at least one pass, see if everything is uh, good to go. Alright, so I, it got a little late last night, so I just let this run all night, and it's uh, the next day, and the RAM seems to be good. It's done, uh, how many t uh, passes, 14 passes. So I think if there was something uh, majorly wrong, we would have known by now. So we'll exit out. I might see if I can try to get, see, see if I can get some semblance of Windows going on here.
VGA mode. That ought to do it. All right, this looks a bit more promising. There we go, and now we can just uh, put the resolution where uh, it needs to be and uh, the keyboard and mouse isn't working. And apparently we uh, had a blue screen to death uh, last time this was on, <laughs> so. Yeah, it's probably installing the drivers right now for uh, the mouse and keyboard. Okay, I saw the keyboard light up. All right, we're good now. All right. Yeah, I don't know when it blue screened it. Wasn't. Uh, under my control, <laughs> and that's my easy to boot drive I can unplug. Uh, getting a lot of errors. There you go, that should, uh, take care of the issue, but I don't know why it is erroring like this. Uh, I might just message my aunt and see if she wants to uh, have a fresh Windows install on here because this is the same install that's been on here since 2007, so way overdue for a reformat, so if that happens, I'll do that off camera. I think we've uh, let this video go on long enough. Hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. Please follow me on social media for channel and project updates. You may also support me on Patreon or as a channel member if you'd like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.